And hello, and welcome to Let's Play Pokemon Crystal. I'm Wise Mimir. This is not exactly my first time experiencing a Johto game, but it is my first time recording myself playing a Johto game. Uh, I am very unfamiliar with Gen 2 as a whole. My only prior experience was the remakes back in Gen 4, which were Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Uh huh? You woke me up. Will you check the clock for me? What time is it? Well, the current time is. Uh, 14 minutes past noon. So, it is day. 12 o'clock. It'll be... Yes, 14 minutes. Day... Noon 14. Yikes, I overslept. It happens to the best of us. <laughs> and this man is Professor Oak. Hello, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures called, that we call Pokemon. People and Pokemon live together by supporting each other. Some people play with Pokemon, some battle with them. But we don't know everything about Pokemon yet. There are still many mysteries to solve. Uh, Pokemon, uh, it had a weird text limit back on, uh, back on Game Boy Color, it seems. Now, what did you say your name was? Well, my name is Wise, my, uh, username is Wise Mimir, which you can, uh, Shorten to either, if I can use capital and lowercase, because I'm not a monster. Either wise, or Mimir. Which is, um, pronounced Mimir. However, you can also call me by my real first name, which is Connor. If you spell it with an E R. I might not respond, uh, because you're either spelling it wrong or referring to someone else entirely. Are you ready? Your very own Pokemon story is about to unfold. You'll face fun times and tough challenges. A world of dreams and adventures, where Pokemon awaits. Let's go. No, Let's Go is the, uh, Gen 8 spin-off games. This is Crystal. Yeah, jokes aside. Oh, right, nothing in the PC. It's a TV. Real helpful. A whole a whole collection of, uh, Pokemon picture books. Okay, cool. 
It's the town map. So we've got New Barth Town, which is where we are. And... Can I throw them... Okay, that's weird. I can only scroll with up and down on the D-pad. Hmm. Oh, Connor. Our neighbor, Professor Oak. Or, whoops. Wrong game. Professor Elm. Was uh, looking for you. He said he wanted you to do some thing for him. Well, at least they're aware of the, uh, tax problems. Uh, oh, I almost forgot. Your Pokemon gear is back from the, you know, from the repair shop. Here you go. Connor received the Poke gear. The Pokemon gear, or Poke gear, it's essential if you want to be a good trainer. Oh, the day of the week isn't set. You mustn't forget that. What day is it? Uh, it is Wednesday. Is it daylight savings time now? Uh, unfortunately, yes, but I'm gonna answer no because I, because I really don't want you know what? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It was such a, it was such a stupid thing. We really need to get rid of it. Do I know how to use the phone? Yes, I know how to use the phone. Uh. Just choose a name and who you want to call. Gee, isn't that convenient? Ugh. Did I accidentally say yes to the tutorial? Let's see what's in the fridge. Fresh water and tasty lemonade. Who are you? Hello, Connor. I'm visiting. Connor, have you heard? My daughter is adamant about becoming Professor Elm's assistant. She really loves Pokemon. Okay, I heard I hear Professor Elm discovered some new Pokemon. Wow, your Poke here is impressive. Did your mom get it for you? Connor, there you are. I need to ask you a favor. I'm conducting a... I'm conducting new Pokemon research. Right now, I was wondering if you could help me with it. You see, I'm writing a paper that I want to present on a con at a conference. I guess a paper on a conference would be a completely different thing, my bad. But and there are some things I don't know. Or don't quite understand yet. So, I'd like you to raise a Pokemon that I caught recently. Yeah, sure. Okay, he's giving us the whole uh, the whole rundown of general stuff. Hmm. Uh huh. Okay. Hey, listen. I have an acquaintance called Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that this time it's real. It's intriguing, but we're busy with our Pokemon research. Wait, I know. Connor, can you go in their go in our place? Uh, presumably, he's not just referring to himself here, he's referring to uh, the lab as a whole. Because he does have assistants here. I want to raise one of the 
Pokemon contained in these bulbs. You'll be that Pokemon's first partner. Go on, pick one. So, here are our options. We've got Cyndaquil. And Cyndaquil is pretty useful, pretty good against all the gyms in the... Uh, all the first... Like... Okay, so there's type advantage and there's uh, stuff of that sort. Uh, Cyndaquil here has type advantage against most of the early gyms. Totodile is the middle of the road. If you want, if you pick Totodile, you're gonna have an easier, uh, easier time than the last option, but a harder time than if you picked, uh, Cyndaquil there. Going through the options, Elm. Don't rush me. And lastly, we've got Torchic. If you want a challenge. I mean, did I say Torchic? I have Gen 3 on the brain. My bad. Uh, no. Chikorita. Chikorita's a grass type. Chikorita is weak to... Pretty much in both of the early gyms, uh, we'll get into that when we get to the early gyms. But, uh, yeah, Chikorita, only pick it if you want a challenge, it is not a great starter in this game. I have a water type bias. I will be picking Totodile. I can get decent type coverage for the, uh, for uh, the, uh, early gems, I guess. But, uh, there's no grass start, and there's no grass, uh, gem in, I uh, in Johto, anyway. There's a grass gem towards the end of the game, but we'll get there when we get there. I would like to name my Totodile. Hmm. What to name you? You're male, you're a Totodile, and considering you are a water type, We'll name you Neptune. Mr. Pokemon lives a little bit beyond Perry Grove City, the next city over. It's almost a direct route. There, so you can't miss it. But just in case, here's my phone. Number. Oh, I thought it was gonna give me his phone. Call if anything comes up. Will do. Heal it with this machine. Feel free to use it at any time. Connor, I'm counting on you. Okay, and we receive a potion. If I recall correctly, this was multiple potions in the uh, remake. And just for the uh, heck of it, let's talk to this guy. So, this is the famous Elm Pokemon Lab. What are you staring at? And he shoves me, because this guy's me. Might as well come in here, talk to, uh, talk to mom, tell her about what we're doing, and then head off.
Pokemon hide in the grass. Who knows when they'll pop out? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Immediately. Alright. So, Neptune's got Scratch in the lure. Let's take this thing down. And this is a Pidgey, it's purifying. You'll get used to facing Pidgeys, unfortunately. They're incredibly common. So, Shin 2 has a few very weird quirks. Uh, for one thing, male Pokemon have uh, a chance to be shiny. And this is not true for, uh, for female Pokemon, unfortunately. And this one's fixed in later games. Now, Pidgey's not a bad option to have on your team, by any stretch, it's just not my ideal choice. There are flying types I prefer, but that's neither here nor there. Alright. Now, uh, hopefully, I can... And get over here and talk to this guy, right. I want to take a break, so I save to record my progress. Yeah, saving's important. I won't be doing that on stream in case something screws up in the, um, in the recording process. It's... Which hasn't happened yet, but is a possibility. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can... As that person here just, uh, told us, you can go down by jumping over these ledges, and, uh, yeah. It's real effective for backtracking. Gee, I wonder if that'll be relevant. Ah, the first truly new Pokémon, aside from our starter. Uh, the same threat is decent if you need a Pokemon to use HMs exclusively. We'll get into what HMs are. Uh, oh, to in Totodile, I mean Neptune just used our berry. Which... It does kind of suck, because that could have been very useful, but eh. It'll be fine. It's not like it was incredibly necessary. It was just convenient to have a berry. Right, I can continue grinding, but um, I'm just gonna move on and walk towards the next town. Because it's real close. Yep, Cherry Grove City. Right here. Uh, this guy will give you the map. So, when he walks you around town, uh, walking around town with him is entirely optional. You could go all game without having a map if you so chose. I, I like having the map, I find it convenient. So, we're gonna get this brief Kind the pointless tour of the town. Unfortunately, this is that guy's only use here. 
in the in the in the remakes he will give you the running shoes. He doesn't hear. Running shoes weren't a thing until Gen 3. I'm just gonna heal up in the Pokemon Center. I I don't know why I just always do whenever I'm in whenever I walk into the center, I do. Let's check the mark, see what I can uh, buy currently because um Ah yes, helpful advice. Have antidotes on hand. Uh I don't want to buy anything. I have a feeling I'll get antidotes if I need them. Because the game is kind of generous with items. Yeah, it'll... It'll basically give you useful items like candy. So... You, you'll rarely have to buy anything. Uh, in the remakes, these have apricorns, which can be used to make things. Uh, in this game, they have berries. So, we're gonna walk in here and actually check the sign first. Route 30, Violet City, Cherry Grove. Uh, whoops. I thought the sign would tell us whose house it is. You know, Pokemon eat berries. Well, my Pokemon got healthier by eating a berry. Here, I'll share one with you. Received berry. Okay. Check trees for berries. They just drop right off. Uh, this guy would give you something to carry apricorns in if you were playing the remake. <laughs> Mr. Pokemon's house, straight ahead. Uh, there's a whole bit of dialogue in uh, the remake about no one ever visiting that guy's house because, uh, because it was kind of pointless in Gen, in Gen 2. So, this is Caterpie. Caterpie is kind of your standard bug type. You'll be running into it quite often, along with KG, Rattata, and uh, Centret. The other bug type you'll have to worry about, the one that can poison you, is uh, is a Weedle, which I don't think appear quite as often in Crystal as it does in, uh, say, Silver Island. I'm not 100% on that, don't quote me. I, I'm no expert, I'm just going off of what I remember hearing in, uh, in Let's Plays I've watched. Okay, Poison Cure Berry, or PSN Cure Berry because text limitation. Uh, and, that'll cure, and that'll cure you with poison. Hey, hello, hello, you must be Connor. Professor Elm said that you would visit. This is what I, this is what I want Professor Elm to examine. Ah, the mystery egg. The mystery egg is going to be important. Uh, he knows a couple who run the Pokemon Daycare service, and they gave him that egg. 
I was intrigued, so I sent mail to Professor Elm. For Pokemon Evolution, Professor Elm is the authority. Even Professor Oak here recognizes that. If my assumption is correct, Professor Elm will know about it. Aha! So, you're Connor. I'm Oak, a Pokemon researcher. I was just visiting my old friend, Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon. Let's see. Hmm, I see. I understand why Professor Elm gave you a Pokemon for this errand. To researchers like Professor Elm and uh, Pokemon are our friends. He saw that you would treat your Pokemon with love and care. Ah, you seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See, this is the latest version of Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. The Pokedex resembles pretty much the game console that you're playing this on. Or, in the case of the remakes, the game console the original was on. Uh, yeah, it resembles a Game Boy. Uh, old school Game Boy. Hello? Connor, it's a disaster. Uh, um, it's just terrible. What should I do? It- oh, no! Please get back here. Well, something has gone wrong and it's our job to solve it. Let's get over there. Because Elm needs our help. These battles are kind of mindless. You, you, you don't really need to think about them all that much. Ooh, critical hit. Probably not necessary, but I like seeing them. Let's collect this item on the way back. It's an intimid- I mean, Antidotion. Yeah, Antidote. Why am I misspeaking? <laughs> oh well. Not like it matters much. So, now looking at our Pokedex, we have Totodile. Uh, number 158. That's gonna be important later. Uh, so, uh, Goto and, uh, Kanto. Choto and Kanto share, uh, Share other Pokedexes. Mostly. Of course, the brand new Pokemon, like uh, Totodile here, or uh, Cyndaquil would be here, and uh, yeah, Cyndaquil is uh, right, right here in the middle. Uh, and, uh, this is where the grass starter would be. Grass starter is always, always at the top of the Pokedex for some reason. So, there's that. Mm. 
Right. I wanted to check Pokemon. Uh, hmm. Might be a good idea to heal before the battle. Because there will be a battle. Oh, I love this shingle. Love it so much. It was... Uh, that shingle, I believe, is in every Pokemon game to date. I'm not certain. Anyway. This guy. And he's the guy who shoved us back at the lab. You got a Pokemon at the lab. What a waste of wimp like you. Oh, I'm running over on time. Uh, next recording, we'll get into this fight. See you then.